Today I'd like to show you a few techniques for freaking fluid flow. In this example from one of our customer's Sentry equipment, we see a couple things, fluid filling up a tube, fluid moving in different directions, and provides a couple tricky simulations. Let's break this down into a few simpler steps. I can take a single object and create a moving texture map. And I'm just going to apply a texture map here. And it's just basically a texture of some fluid looking objects with some noise in it. So when I um, animate this across the timeline by using the texture translation mode, you'll get a nice little fluid simulation looking movement on a straight tube. This works really well for straight objects like this. But um, we need to actually do a couple more things like filling up the tube. In this case I had to explode the geometry into a couple different pieces and take it so I have an outside surface and an inside surface. I put a cutting plane through the outside surface and then mapped a texture map with half white, half red. Then I scaled up the texture and moved it across the object so that it appeared as if it was animating up. After I enabled transparency, it looks like the tube is filling up. With the cutting plane through there, you get a nice little effect like this. Now, the actual object is really tricky, so I have to explode this object. It's all one object. So I'm taking these tubes, breaking them down into separate parts, scaling them down to about a tenth their size, and uh, maybe uh, to a quarter their size, depending on the tube. And then I can copy and duplicate the, the pieces here. And then using some of the alignment tools, I can quickly put those tubes back together until I have a completed tube assembly with some selection sets. Now when I select the outer tube, I have it broken apart into a lot of little tiny pieces. First, I apply the texture to the whole object. And then I specify kind of the direction that they're going to move with translation in one direction. Then I'll go to another direction and translate it across there. And that whole movement goes on over time. Now I can take the texture, turn it off, disable the texture, and I start selecting individual pieces and moving every three frames or so, I enable the texture map. So this gives you a little fake idea. It looks like it's when you put it together, it'll look like it's moving along that path in the direction that you want it to go. So just a tip, if you're going to be doing this and coming back to your project, you want to have the texture enabled at an end point as well because you may lose the link if you turn have all your textures disabled. So now we take a peek at the final object again. We have fluid moving in and out, up and down. And I hope this gives you some ideas of how to create your um, fluid animations. Thanks.